everybody, welcome to The Waddock Way, I'm Jessica, and today's video is going to be the first in a brand new series. The series is going to be called Homeschool Show and Tell, and it's going to be hosted by Abby from Rooted in Rest and myself. The best part about this brand new series is that it is going to be an open collaboration. That means we are welcoming all YouTubers to film and add to our playlist and join us. Our goal with the Homeschool Show and Tell series is to show off the beautiful uniqueness that is homeschooling and to show that everybody does it in a different way and that there is no one right way to do it. Each month there will be a specific topic and you will have from the second Tuesday of the month at 10 a.m. Eastern Standard Time until the last day of the month to get your video uploaded and added to that open playlist. This month's topic is planning and organization for your homeschool. So you will have from the time you're watching this video until the last day of the month to add your video to this playlist. At the end of each month's video, we will be announcing the topic for the following month. So at the end of this video, we will be going ahead and letting you know what next month's topic is. The only requirement for joining in on the collaboration is that you put the playlist link in your description box and that you mention that Abby from Rooted and Rest and Jessica from The Waddock Way are hosting the Homeschool Show and Tell series. We really hope that you join us, whether you are collaborating with us or whether you are just watching all of those who do collaborate with us. Because like I said, our goal really is to highlight the uniqueness that is homeschooling. Now, without further ado, I'm going to show you how I plan and organize my homeschool. First things first, if you are curious to see what curriculum that we will be using in the upcoming homeschool year, which will be third grade for my daughter, you can do that in this video right here where I show you everything that we're going to be using. And if you would like a tour of our homeschool spaces, which include the homeschool room and my office where I store all of our homeschool stuff, as well as like our bookshelves and eventually in the near future, our game shelves and our STEM center, you will be able to find those right here in the tour videos. Now, I will also go ahead and direct you to our routine for this year, which is going to give you a little bit more of a glimpse into what my plans are for the homeschool year. What I discuss in that video is that we are going to be doing school five days and then taking a day off. Now that doesn't mean that it's going to be like Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, and Saturday off. What it means is we're going to do five days of book work school, however that plays out. And after we've done five days of school, we're going to take a sixth day for what I'm calling enrichment. That means we'll take that day off for things like poetry tea time and art and nature study and all of those things that sometimes fall through the cracks that are like the fun game days, all of those really fun things to ensure that I'm actually taking that six day off because let's be honest, I would be tempted to kind of push right through it. I found this awesome portfolio on Amazon, which I will link everything I show you in the description box down below. And it has these little tab folders and there is five in here. So my plan is to just put the bare minimum schoolwork that I'm requesting that she do, which is the daily fundamentals from Evan Moore in each of these. So that means that basically it'll be day one, day two, day three, day four, and then day five. When we do all five of these, however that rolls out when they're done, whether that takes us two weeks, three weeks, five days, whatever, I will then take the next day, the next school day off for enrichment. Hopefully this will help me stick to it because I'm thinking at least that once this is empty, it'll kind of be like a visual reminder for me to say, Hey, you need to take the next day off of school. So what I have in front of me is the portfolio that I'm going to be filling my planner where I have a daily fundamental breakdown and it talks, shows me the different topics that we're going to be like discussing each week. I have her math and language um, tracker. This is from this cat house. I have one similar to this in my planner. But this is just a little bit prettier for her so she can highlight as she does the lessons. I have all of the daily fundamentals printed and ready to be stuffed into her portfolio. Then I also have our Usborne Illustrated Grammar Punctuation and Math Dictionaries. You can see how I use these in a daily fundamental lesson up here, you guys. But this is what I use to like teach the lesson to her. So the first thing that I'm going to do is I am going to look at my daily fundamentals and see that for week one, we're going to be doing nouns, 
rounding to the nearest 10 and main idea. So like those are the topics that we are going to be learning about in our daily fundamentals for the next five days. So once I know what topics we're going to be learning about, I quickly go to the grammar and punctuation book as well as the math book and I use post-it notes to find and mark those topics. So it'll be super easy for me to say, okay, this is where I need to be. So once I find nouns, I just go and mark that page with a post-it. Super simple, nothing fancy, but this way it saves me time when we actually get ready to do the lesson. It'll already be marked and ready to go. So that is done, and now I'm going to look up rounding and the math one. Then the next thing that I do is go ahead and stuff her portfolio with the five days. So like I said, super easy. I just take day one and stick it in here and then day two. And if at any time we are off track, it's not, it won't be a big deal. I'll just stick the next one. It won't be that big of a deal. And then the last thing I do for her portfolio is I stick her tracker in on whatever day she's on. And then she'll just move that as she completes it. So that is done. Now I'm going to take um, a minute to go over to my bookshelf and to my game shelf and look for books or games that also talk about the topics that we're going to be learning. So nouns, run to the nearest 10, or main idea. Okay, so for books, I have this word fun book that has if you were a noun in it, so we will read that. Then for games, I have the Treehouse Town, which is a good and a beautiful game. It's parts of speech, so this has common and proper nouns in it, so I know that we can review that as well as adjectives and verbs too. And then I don't have any books for rounding or any games for rounding. So I'm going to go ahead and go through the Right Start books. This is the math card games by them. And I'm going to look for anything that they might have on rounding. And it looks like they have a rounding war. So I'm just going to go to that page and then check and see if there is any additional things needed because sometimes you need to make a copy of a piece of paper, um, like something out of the appendix, or you might need, you know, coins. I'm just going to make sure that I don't need any of that and it doesn't look like I do. So we are good to go. So this will all have been done on Sunday night hopefully, or whenever the five days is up, whether that's on Sunday or Monday or Tuesday, whenever that sixth day is, we'll spend that sixth day enjoying the day together. And then that evening I'll sit down, I'll stuff her portfolio and mark all of the pages and gather all of my games for the upcoming five days. So that is how I'm hoping to keep our homeschool organized for the year. I'm hoping to keep things somewhat planned because if you don't know, I'm not a huge planner. I don't really like to plan ahead other than to just kind of do the next thing or follow her lead, which is something that was really, really important in our homeschool. Um, mainly I plan from behind and I do that using OneNote. So I'm actually going to go ahead and show you guys that now. So what I do is I use OneNote to plan from behind and basically just type out a short little synopsis of what we did overall. I don't necessarily type out the written work that we do because that's something that I'll actually have proof of and I scan those in later. But I'll just type out, for instance, this week we did a little bit of Shark Week type stuff. Um, we learned about sharks. We did a Eugenie Clark unit study on the Shark Lady. And then I list out all of the shows that we've watched and the games that we've played. And I attach a picture collage of what our week looked like. What's really great about this is it will end up turning into our portfolio at the end of the year that we use for evaluation. 
So that is how I organize and plan for our homeschool. I hope you got a few ideas or at least some inspiration. If you have any questions, please leave them down in the comments. I'll be happy to answer them. And I really hope that you guys join Abby and I as we continue on this um, homeschool show and tell series.